In this video, I'm going to show you how you can communicate with your registered users on your WordPress blog. Now, what you can do with this is you can either communicate with them as in blasting them an email to a certain group of subscribers or individual subscribers, or you can send out notifications of posts. So this is a great way to communicate with people you have word registered on your WordPress blog without having to install any kind of an autoresponder. So the first thing to do is to log into your WordPress blog. Now once you're logged in, you want to go over to plugins and then we're going to do add new. Okay, now here what you want to do is in the search box type in email users. Okay, and it's this one here. It'll be the first one you see email users. So click install now. And then we're going to activate. Okay, now you'll see down here we have a new email user. So there's some user settings we can go into first. Okay, now this will bring up the list of users that you have on your blog right now. So we only have currently the one user, but they would all show up down here. And it shows you here, notifications are default on and mass emails are default on. So you can change these with a bulk action here. You turn notifications on or off, mass emails on and off, and both of them on or off, or one of them on or off. Okay, so it gives you a quick way that you can update your users. If you already got a database full of users, you can go in here and you can set them up the way you want. Okay, now let's go into settings and email users. Now, likely you can just leave most of these with the settings here. First of all, if you want to send out HTML emails or plain text. Next, sort users by, I wouldn't suggest sorting the users because you're just emailing to them. This just takes some extra resources that you don't need to use. BCC limit, you don't need to set this unless you're having trouble. Your, if you're using a shared server, then you might want to set this to something like 30. Okay, that, what that does, it'll send out one mail, mail for every 30 users and trying to send out, say, 200 emails using BCC. So do with this what you will. I would suggest setting it to 30, actually, if you're using a shared hosting. Okay, and then this is the default notification subject. So this is a post of interest. Remember, this is for post notifications. When you do an email blast, then, of course, your subject is going to be whatever you want. Okay, admit display names. What it does is it sends out your email with your name in it. And if you use this, then it's going to send out as a email, like you see here. Okay, copy center to add sender email to CC header. Okay, I would leave that off. It's just a copying the sender. Okay, exclude sender from email recipient list. In other words, you're sending it out, so don't send it to yourself. From sender name override. It gets this information from your blog, so whatever your name is when you for your admin name, that's what's going to be here, and that's going to your email is going to be what's here. So you can override those if you want. If you want to send bounced email to another email address for review, you can do that. Okay, this is your def default notification body. Post title and post excerpt here. This will get it from the post. Link to the post and link to blog name. Okay, so this is the default. You can change that if you like. Okay, and then you have your, your footer here. So you can do what you want with this. Take it out or put your own links in here into the footer. Short code processing. WordPress has short codes that you can use depending on what plugins you have and so on. So you can process short codes in embedded posts.
Okay, user settings table rows. I, you don't need to change this. Default user settings. So this is when a user signs up. These are the the permissions that are going to be granted. So they'll receive post or page notifications, receive email sent to multiple recipients, and allow users to control their own email user settings. You should leave this on just to make sure that you are abiding by the can spam can spam rules and future filter user with no role. I'm not sure how a user gets no role when they sign up, they're automatically subscribers. So you don't really need to check that one. Okay, and this is for Xmailer headers. I wouldn't do anything with that. And you can enable debugging mode if something's wrong. Okay, save any changes there. And this just shows you what has been set. Okay, same with this. Okay, and then here are the variables that you can use. So you can use blog URL, blog name, from name, post title, post author, post excerpt, post content, and post URL. And email user capabilities. Okay, so administrators only access this page. You don't really want to change any of this. It just basically has it set so only admins can be emailing out the users. So make sure you leave that as it is. Not that you can change it anyway. It's just showing you here. Okay, now down here, it's telling you that it's using WP mail function and it is loaded from, and then this is where the WP mail function is loaded from. Okay, now, Okay, and then down here, email user integration. So you can enable user groups, user access manager groups, and paid membership pro if you're using any of these. This will work with S2 member just fine. You can email out to a specific level with S2 member as well. Okay, so once you have that all set the way you want, you're done with settings. And most likely you can leave it alone or you may want to set your BCC limit to 30. Let's just save that. Okay, now when we come down here, we can send to users or send to groups. So let's go into users first. This will list all the users that you have on your blog that are available to email. So we have IR Smart and Tony Tiger. So you can pick one by one which ones you want to use. And if you hold down the control key, you can pick more than one. So if you had a list of 20 users here and you wanted to only email to two, you can do that. Okay, and then simply your subject and then your email is composed down here. You have your visual editor and your text editor, your ad media. Simple as that, and then you send mail. Now, if we go to send to groups, and this one's more useful, you can send to different roles. Okay, so one of the users is an author and one's a subscriber. If you're using S2 member, you might have S2 member level zero, level one, level two, level three, level four. So if you're using S2 member, you can send to each member level, depending on what roles you have on your blog. And whatever roles you have with users in them, it's going to show up here. So now, if you had a thousand users that were subscribers, all you have to do is click right there and it'll send to them all. Okay, now normally when somebody signs up to your blog, using the normal registration process, they're going to be a subscriber. You have to promote them to another role here. Okay, so we have subscriber. Down here, you put in your subject, your email, and then send email, and that's it. That's going to send it out to however many people are in the subscriber role. Okay, now let's talk about post notifications or page notifications. So let's go to all posts here. No, you don't have any, so let's just add a new post. Okay, so we'll say test. Test. Okay, so this is your normal post. You do what you do with a post. You give it a category and whatnot. Now you'll see up here, well, let's 
let's uh, publish it first. Now you see up here, email notify users about this post. I'll click on this. Okay, and now it's coming up with the where you can send it from. Okay, so same deal. You can either send it to roles or individuals. Okay, so if you want to want to send it to subscribers, you do this. Okay, and here is the post that's going to go out. And this is the text that was in our defaults here. Okay, so you can change that in there if we wanted something different for the post. And this is our post headline. This is what was in the post. And then it sends a link to the post and link to the blog main page. Okay, so if we send email, it's now sent out to one user because that's all it's in the subscriber role, but it would tell you how many users it was sending out to here. Same with when you were using the regular send users to user groups. If you were using the blast down here, it would also show you how many emails it sent you to. Okay, so that's it. That's how you can use the plugin to communicate with your users.